Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Then come and leave a bottle here. He said, the more the, 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 more the movement, the more he likes it. Oh, boy. Yes. Welcome to the Downtown Aquarium's Shark Voyage. During our journey today, please remain seated, keeping your arms, hands, legs, and head inside the train coach at all times while the train is in motion. Our voyage today yes, takes place aboard a specially designed C.P. Huntington train, modeled after the turn of the century steam engines. It will take us around the entire seven acres, situated along Houston's Buffalo Bayou. Along the way, we will learn about the downtown aquarium, as well as the importance of sharks and their role in the marine world. Sharks are an important component of the undersea world. They are the number one predator <laughs> that swims in the ocean and helps maintain a delicate balance in marine life. Unfortunately, they are not the number one predator out of the ocean. We are. And the overfishing of sharks, specifically shark finning, is seriously depleting their populations. The downtown aquarium and Landry restaurants are strong supporters of Wild Aid and its mission to stop shark finning and help preserve this wonderful species. Just ahead is the historic Central Waterworks building, which has been transformed into a home for some of these... Welcome to the historic Central Waterworks building. This turn-of-the-century building is now home to 200,000 gallons of seawater. The tunnel in which we are located is approximately 70 feet long, and the entrance is inches thick, so you 700 tons of water directly over your head. There are sharks swimming around us. The largest of these sharks that you see is the sand tiger shark. These sharks are 10 feet long and weigh over 250 pounds. They are found worldwide and are identifiable by the numerous rows of shark teeth. There are several species of sharks that are smaller, yet every bit is dangerous. The Pacific white tip shark is easily identifiable by the white tip on the dorsal fin. They are very aggressive and hunt in packs along reefs at night. They can reach six feet in length. The most numerous sharks in our exhibit are heck? brown sharks, which are frequently found off the coast easy, of the Easy, big guy, easy. The brown sharks that you see here are approximately five to seven feet in length and are the most aggressive. Sao que jumpa não deixa nada, mas que jumpa não deixa nada. Jumpa não deixa nada. We didn't know this place existed last time. There are several sharks resting on the bottom of the exhibit. They are nurse sharks and the beautifully marked Australian zebra shark, both of which spend the majority of their time on the ocean floor. They can reach up to 10 feet in length and weigh over 200 pounds. Man, take a picture. 
the most unusual right. and rare animal okay, in the tank of our tank of our roof is the sawfish. It is a rare, okay, not a shark, and can reach over 20 feet in length, weighing over 250 pounds. The sawfish has its trunk saw to the sawfish. The sawfish is found to be working on partnerships with Australian scientists to help save the sawfish. Animals in the exhibit are fed three to four times a week. Divers routinely go into the tank for maintenance. But we never feed our sharks while divers are in the water. It would be far too dangerous. Even with the chainmail suits our divers wear, the brown and sand tiger sharks have enough power in their jaws to crush a person's arm or leg. The scientific staff of Landry's restaurants worked with other institutions and agencies throughout Texas and worldwide.